I'm Judy Shaw for NYSC Floor Talk, and I'm here at NYSC Pacific. Joining me today is Madhu Sudakar. He is co-founder and CEO at Isera. Madhu, it is wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me today. Judy, thanks for having me. I My straight came from pleasure. Dreamforce, so it's wonderful <laughs> to be with you. Wonderful to have you here. So now, Madhu, tell me about Isera. What do you do? So, um, Isera is a company. I started Isera with my co-founder Christos around almost five and a half years back. I left ServiceNow to start Isera, and company started in late 2017. And our goal was today we are everybody knows about ChatGPT. So we are trying to do ChatGPT, what we call conversation AI, for enterprise for last five years, right? And what the, what we mean by that is we, our goal is to offer a virtual assistant. We want to offer a a conversation AI system where users can interact. And it will be a truly a virtual instrument to do your job. You will ask a question. You can resolve the request. It can take an actions. And that's the whole mission. Our mission was to create a, a good virtual assistant for the enterprise and by specific to enterprise needs. Mm -hmm. All right, now tell me, how are you different from others that are in this space? A lot of differences. Look, if you look at underneath the covers, right? Uh, first of all, the problem we are trying to solve is we want to offer something called AI Copilot for customers. We are also doing it in a a very what you call a scalable, uh, in a trusted environment, in a secure environment with your data that it doesn't leak outside, right? And in a way, what we are doing is we create what we call a domain enterprise specific LLMs. So that means anything that we do belongs to Judy to you. It never leaves your enterprise. And then what we do is we are able to do this thing in a very high accurate manner. So in the sense, our resolution request will be north of 70, 75, 80 percent. So that most of the requests we you ask us, we try to understand them. And the whole thing is done in a response responsible AI. So in the AI, it's revolution is done in such that you have to do it in a trusted manner so that we are also responsible that we are not doing any mistakes on that. So the way in which we build the product and platform is really get the best out of the enterprise and also do it for multiple domains. Because people don't want to have one bot for IT, one for customer service, one for HR. We created like an AI service experience platform so that you can have various domains and launch these virtual assistants in a scalable manner. And this is what differentiates us from the rest of the world. And we kind of been doing it for now last five years. And obviously, chat GPT with what Sam Altman and with OpenAI just gave us more fuel. It gave us more in the forefront of what the enterprise are asking for. And it's been last six, nine months have been one of the best years of ISRA. Okay. So now, Madhu, as you look to the next 12 months, tell me, what are you focused on? What are your priorities? I think same thing, like doing the same thing and better. Mm -hmm. As I said, we are just scratching the surface of this entire enterprise chat GPT means, right? How do we launch products with your data set? How do we make sure we ensure it? There will be also, there will be cybersecurity attack. How do we make sure models don't have poison, model drift? Making sure that all the models are taken care of security-wise. Security and trust is a very important for me. And making sure this AI revolution includes responsible AI, right? So next 12 months will be a lot more on that side and making sure that AI is really doing true to the society, right? There's a lot about trust and security that people are talking about. Will AI will kill the jobs? We will. We think we will create net new jobs. Like I really have like more than 50 to 100 positions open right now. We are already close to 300 employee company. So we've been hiring throughout. So if people out there, I'm looking to hire people in all areas. So I don't see AI is killing jobs, right? So I want to drill, drill down on that message. At the same time, I want C-level people to understand that building AI should not be zero-sum game or net to game. If I'm giving you AI to Jody, I should save you money someplace. So where should I save money? I'm saving money in your tools. I'm saving money in your process. I'm saving money in mundane tasks, but I'm not eliminating the jobs. It's all about productivity, user productivity, get the best from your customers, grow your revenue, grow your business at a scalable manner. And that's where I'm going to focus next 12 months and do in much more manner and just keep repeating the same thing uh, and make the product more and more better, talk to more customers. We have now close to 150 customers and we'll probably want to double our customers by next year. Okay, now you co-founded the company. Right. Um, tell me, what sparked you to start Isera? It's actually a very good story. Um, it was like sometime in mid-2017, I think. Um, I'm very good friends with uh, a mentor by the name Ram Shiram. Uh, Ram sits on Google's board, and he's been on Google's board. He, was like the, he gave the first check to Google back in 98. So he and me are talking about it and with Christos. Our goal and mission was to how can we change the life of world of people in uh, IT help desk, customer service and call centers, right? If you have a problem, you don't want to always go back to humans to do it. Is there some mundane task that we want to automate? Right? But the, the, I'm not trying to eliminate from their jobs. They should do what they do. But the mundane task I want to automate so that people move from their poverty. I really wanted to me and Ram and Christos talk about how can we move people out of poverty? 
in this thing. And there are like 60, 70 million jobs in call centers, right? They're doing the same thing. We want to give a better life to them. Mm -hmm. So it was a mission for us. Doing ISRA is a mission to make lives better. People who are in IT help desk, people in level one, level two jobs, customer service, customer care, call centers, so that they can get better life to themselves, mm -hmm. right? That was the mission how we started this. All right, well, Madhu, wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. Thank you, Judy. It's wonderful to speak with you as well.